year between 1980 and 1985, we were on the hunt to try to solve and crack the problem of what is a nuclear receptor. What is its structure? Can we reveal the entire structure? So our lab, Keith Yamamoto's lab, Pierre Chambon's lab, Bert O'Malley's lab, we were all on the hunt. And it was somewhat of a competition. We were like wandering around the desert and suddenly we found ourselves at the foot of a pyramid. This pyramid, we believed, contained the secrets to what we wanted. And when we got in, we found a room of jeweled treasures, sparkling discoveries that no one had ever seen. Yes, we got the structure of the glucocorticoid receptor, but within that room were so many other discoveries waiting to be made. We were filled with excitement, and the journey for one thing literally turned into a journey for another. And so uh, we saw the thyroid hormone receptor, receptors for vitamin A, vitamin D, and suddenly fields that used to be separate now became unified. A particular interest was a hidden door that we thought might hold other treasures. And when we went through that door, we found a room filled with what we call orphan receptors, that is receptors that had no known ligand. And this was truly the new treasure trope. No one knew these receptors existed, but having gone through that door, not only do we know that they existed, but we could use the very receptor to find the new orphan ligand. And this launched the new era of molecular endocrinology.